A highly engaged um, Division Three FAR can connect to the NCA in attending our annual NCA convention. That would be my number one opportunity. Um, the FAR can represent the institution as a delegate to the annual NCA convention and attend any special meetings of the NCA during convention. Um, some of those key meetings and events the FAR can attend during convention are association-wide education sessions, the state of college sports, our honor celebration, keynote sessions, and the Division Three Issues Forum and business session. Um, and for the FAR, they may be designated as the voting delegate in the absence of their president or chancellor for the Division Three business session. And also, the FAR should be involved in those discussions before convention with the president and chancellor and the athletics director in which the institution's voting position for NCAA legislation um, to be established um, in order to vote at the business session. Some advice for FARs is that at many institutions, the FAR oversees the nomination of student athletes for NCAA grants, scholarships, and recognition programs. And all of these um, opportunities can be found on NCA.org. It's great opportunity for our FARs to get engaged in our committee structure. There's many opportunities to get involved. The faculty athletic rep is a great resource for all of our committees from our student athlete advisory committee, as well as our management council. So I would encourage you to apply for these positions as they are appropriate. There are a variety of ways for an FAR to engage with the NCA, and some of those are to attend national and regional meetings, as well as conferences that provide professional development opportunities for rules education. Some examples are the NCA Regional Rules Seminar, the FARA Annual Meeting, our NCA Annual Convention, and Conference Compliance Meetings.